Radiant Team Ban. Dire Team Ban. Radiant Team Pick. Dire Team Pick. Ancient Apparition. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Bad Rider! Radiant team pick. Silencer. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire Team Ban. Beastmaster. As saw from that beautiful picture, let's bring ten seconds remaining, five seconds remaining. Well, so far, I'm uh, already a little bit scared for Mouse Sports. They, they ban out the Nyx Assassin immediately, and Team King, when they open up with a Bad Rider Silencer, one of the, probably one of the strongest initiating combos there is in, in Dota, in my opinion. That would be really, I mean, it's, it's one of the strongest openings that you have throughout qualifiers, throughout patches, throughout everything. You jump in, you Bat Rider Lasso, and you take the, you know, Global Silence afterwards. The other thing that I, I'm, I'm looking at it and the Silencer afterwards, they took it so that that way they don't have a Guardian Greaves carrier in the off lane. That's that's kind of the other thing that I'm noticing that makes this tough. Um, he probably is going to have to go into like something like a Lotus Orb, I would guess. Oh, Mouseports actually picked that after seeing this. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, then they, never mind. Yeah, Mouseports has first pick, so they first pick Ancient Apparition, and King Gwen responded with Bad Rider Silencer, so Beastmaster was a follow-up. Uh, I think they're trying to basically scout things out before this initiation even occurs with the, with the Hawk, but it's not going to be easy relying on a Beastmaster Hawk to make sure you don't get caught. It, it, it's going to be a tough time. Yeah. Well... They'll have to play around it very effectively. And that is one thing that we've seen from Mouse Sports so far that they've been able to do is, uh, you know, send out the, get good vision, make good decisions around the map. Um, considering that they also have like a little bit less or more limited vision uh, during nighttime, is there any value to you in taking something like a Night Stalker uh, for Team King one? Maybe in a position five or four roll? That actually wouldn't be a bad. Uh, I actually think that would be pretty good. Oh! You did it. I did it one time. One time in my life. But Mouse, they're going to go back for the maybe next time Bounty Hunter. That's a hero that he knows very well. This is probably one of his best heroes. Oh, the, these guys know exactly. Look at this. They oh my exactly god. exactly what they want. <laughs> All right. They're drafting quickly. We saw Nisha play an unbelievable Wind Ranger the other day. Um, kept on getting shackles. He played it against a Broodmother, actually, and they were able to do pretty well against Ace's Brood from Secret. Do you think that this is a good game for it this time around? What what are what's the value of a Wind Ranger in this game? Uh, one being it's not exactly the easiest to harass a Wind Ranger as a bounty hunter. 
Uh, the other one is like, I, I actually I think that's all I got for you. I, I think that, honestly, I think this is just a hero that he likes to play and he okay. plays very well. Uh, that's a value at this stage, uh, and like. I guess that's something that's important throughout all levels of Dota too. If there's a hero that you just feel very comfortable on, even if it's not necessarily the best for that given situation, uh, it provides a lot. And with the Bounty Hunter, you talked earlier about the way to deal with this hero. You just try and uh, five-man against it. At least that's one of the avenues for making it happen. What do you think Kingwin's uh, plan is going to be in this game? Do you think that they're going to try and five-man and take towers early, or... Do you think just try and like kill the bounty hunter and over and over again with like you know Ag's Night Stalker with the gem? Five seconds. Um, it's not exactly the only you know five manning isn't the only way. It's just definitely one of bounty hunter's weaknesses when it comes to uh, team fight potential. You can also just deal with him by just having good vision and keeping tabs on him. You know, you kind of set yourself this area where you feel like you know we can just play around this area. We'll put sentries here. We'll put sentries here and. There's just no avenue for a bounty hunter to get in to get the information that he needs. Okay. And, of course, not getting your courier sniped is usually a good route to take as well. Um, which we saw last game, the bounty hunter tried to get in there for a courier snipe early on. Couldn't find it. So, last pick right now for Mouse. What do you feel like they need as far as the, the archetype of a hero? What's the... Is it more magical damage, initiator with life stealer? Mm. They might go for. Uh, oh wait, Puck is banned out. Yeah, that would have been a good pick. It's tough. I I think they just. I, I think you just don't even give Life Stealer a vehicle, at this point. It's gonna be so hard to find the initiation for him. You might do better just having a secondary core in the mid lane, like uh, like a Viper, someone who can just stand his ground, doesn't really worry about getting initiated on, because of the. Night Stalker Vision, as well as the Bad Rider. I'm trying to think of what thug heroes there were. Is like a Queen of Pain one, maybe? Or, oh, there's the, that's the hero you're talking about. It's the okay. same type of thing. Yeah, just don't pick a, pick a core that doesn't worry too much about the uh, initiation. Going to be a very tanky one as well. So, I mean, I, I can, I can kind of see it working. At the same time, it, it's still looking kind of scary for mouse sports. I feel like they're... They will. They're gonna have to play this one out like really, really well because I mean they got four melee heroes against the Bat Rider. <laughs> yeah, and I mean it's in terms of greed, you have Bounty Hunter and Alchemist on the same team. Also, um, yeah, this could be tough. What's Kingwin gonna go for now, though? Like they need a, a safe laner, somebody that does well against Alk. Preferably, do they want to try and end the game early against this lineup? Uh, I don't think you have to. I think the Wind Ranger Bad Rider combo is like gonna be able to just single handedly deal with one of the cores. So I think you need you just you just want another core that can actually like fight up against the Life Stealer Alchemist. Maybe Ursa would be a good hero. I think Ursa is actually pretty good. Okay, I'm, I'd be excited to see that. Maybe you even... I mean, it's still probably going to be Nisha playing the Wind Ranger, I would imagine, but you could think about putting a mid against the Elk. I want to go that route. Oh, they're going to brood! Okay! Alright, Exotic Deer, I see you! He's got a brood up his sleeve. Alright. Alright, alright. I, I mean, this is... I mean, if you look at Mouse, if you look at Mouse Sports lineup... Is there really much you can do against the Brood Mother? It's not going to be a. It's going to be a Brood against a, a Beastmaster is probably what they're expecting. Um, a Beastmaster usually not going to max out axes, but maybe it's potential, potentially the case this game. I mean that. Uh, I guess the like gold matchup would be trying to run Madara against it, wouldn't it? Like you want to find. Is that bad though? I don't know how how good is acid spray against spiderlings. Um, it does enough damage if Broodmother doesn't micro. <laughs> if you just like so, leave the spiderlings, so, so the basically, acid spray. it's not good. <laughs> okay. In my opinion, I don't think it's good. All right. Well, game number three. It all comes down to this, and we'll have to see if Mouse has what it takes, or if Kingwin are going to take that second spot out of Group A and face. OG in the playoffs. Pause, please. Wonderful, Nisha. 
doing the spam. Yeah, he knew already. They are, uh, for anybody that's just joining us, this is a very uh, second best of three between these two teams. The first best of three, there was a little bit of salt being thrown around in game number one. Um, they, they resolved their issues, but regardless, Nisha is still spamming the pause please button. This is going to be a very weird game to watch, I feel. Okay. I feel like if mouse forts are able to keep it even, it's going to look really weird. And if they aren't able to keep it e even, King Winner is just going to stomp them. That, that's, that's my guess for this draft. I might sound very biased, but honestly, I really like the Mouse Sports team ever since they had their good run at Boston. I always hoped that they would continue their run, but it's hard being uh, an ex Ad Finum fan. Or not ex Ad right. Finum, uh, a fan of the ex Ad Finum team. Right. They haven't shown much results ever since that Boston run. Yeah. And I think, uh, you know, it's it's also kind of telling that they're in these qualifiers and they're still sticking with it as a team. I, I think it says a lot about the the individual character of each of the players that even though they didn't do good results since, I mean, what was that, like November of last year? Uh, sometime, I don't remember when the Boston Major was, but, um, and they're still sticking together. I, I don't know, that's pretty cool to me. Uh, you know, commit to trying to get better together. That's awesome. Uh, as far as this game, though, you were talking about it. You feel like it's going to look really weird. Where is it that you feel like is the most potential for Mouse to fall behind? Uh, is it going to be like this this uh, Beastmaster who's actually heading up top? Uh, do you think that he's going to end up being really, uh, really suffering? Or do you think that the Alchemist getting roamed on? Where are you most worried about? I'm pretty worried for all of their lanes. <laughs> okay. Everywhere. Just, it's all bad. Nothing good. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I feel like, uh, once again, it's, it's kind of like the same issue as the first game. It really comes down to maybe next time being able to make the right moves into the right areas. Like, a lot of this is on his shoulders for the early game. Because no one else can do anything. Block. <laughs> oh, all right. So apparently the saline is back. Oh no. Well, um, that happens. It's all good. I thought that everything was uh, was feeling a little bit better, but maybe there's still some uh, maybe there's still some issues. Interesting enough, it's going to be Madara that's playing on the Alchemist in the mid lane. And <laughs> oh no, you know, there is one thing that I've noticed. It's a difference between Europeans and North Americans. Um, I feel like Europeans use smiley faces incorrectly. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed this before, but they'll like say something that's sort of like angry or like slightly passive aggressive and then smile oh. at you. Oh, yeah, of course. It's it's the, the the ultimate passive aggressive smile. Yeah, that you that you can make. Yeah, that's of course. I know I know this firsthand. Bambo does it all the time. Does he? Oh yeah, all the time. I, I but it's also like I don't know if it's it's like the passive aggressive smiley face. Oh no! Oh no! Pause, please. Pause, please. Oh, they weren't ready. I think. Yeah. Anyways, the passive aggressive smiley face is uh. It's a thing. Oh, Spartan has been disconnected again. Poland... What? <laughs> Poland can't into space. Poland can't into spell. I don't know what's happening right now, man. Come on now. You guys got no, this. He, he said space. I think that Anisha is also like particularly upset because he missed his block a little bit, and then they paused as he was missing his block. Well, I mean, his silence are still blocking for him, so it's it's still fine. Yeah. I mean, but if you're the mid player, you want to be in control of your own block, don't you? Maybe you don't care. No, you know, you definitely care. It's important. Yeah. But at least having someone there is better than not having a block at all. I mean, it's still it's still fine, you know. It's a tier two. Yeah, 
That's true. Yeah, and they actually missed. It looks like Spartan wasn't able to get his block because obviously the disconnect. The disconnected. Yeah. So right now, Mouseport are you know far unhappier. Yeah. Although it's, it's hard to say, you know, but both sides are kind of upset that there's uh, at least like six minutes or more of pausing every single game because of internet connections. Yeah. That's not uh, what you would want to have in any game, obviously. But in this final one, make sure that players are there and not disconnecting. Oh, so so just to educate the chat, see, you see like how chat is all... They're all like putting in the uh, the colon and then the uh, the bracket. Yeah. See, that's an actual smiley. Okay. The, Euro the European colon smiley is just a bracket. There is no colon. It's just a bracket. <laughs> and then you just throw in like six of them at a time, and that's that's the passive aggressive smiling. Okay, I'm with you. Passive aggressive smiling. So just a colon. No, 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 not no. It's without the. Or just, just, the just, the, just the bracket. Sorry. Yeah. So okay. So this is the thing too. If you only put one, from my what I've learned, if you yeah. put one, you're actually trying to make a smiley. So okay. If you put any more than one, then it's no longer a smiley. It's like there's there's intent behind it. <laughs> there's intent behind it. I love that. Well, Madara certainly getting the worst side of this block here, but they do end up going for the chili fingers. Uh, they didn't get it onto a Madara though, and so maybe next time is gonna. End up being able to not hit any of them. He got one down, but he took a lot more of a beating there. And Alicia, man, up against Spartan, just beating him for getting knocked out of the game early. And now the Void comes in from Kcore. They're going to be able to hit another power shot here if they wanted to. Got to be at least a little bit careful. Five heroes mid. This is what Dota is now. I think a little earlier than that, I, I think Bounty Hunter was there too. So It was actually oh, yeah. a 3v3. It was a tri-lane mid. <laughs> which is which is really, things. you know, not exactly. I wouldn't say it's standard, but it definitely happens quite a bit nowadays. Yeah, at least for the initial couple minutes. Sometimes it, it can, and sometimes it won't happen. Well, you said you were worried about all their lanes already. They are off to a hot start, and Madara is going to need to pull this creep wave past. He's almost got level two, so he will have acid spray for this. Immediately going to be silenced though by Alicia, and. Now, trying to get as much CS as he can. Still taking a lot of damage. The salve will keep him alive. Power shot to break the salve. Man, Nisha is just in his face. That one, that one definitely hurts. And since Silencer is still here, he can't exactly walk into the lane. Madara going to need some help catching up. Probably going to have to rely on his teammates to stack for him. But can you really risk stacking? There's a bad rider on the other team. You run the risk of uh, just having... All of it stolen. Yeah, Alk is sitting at 2-2 two and two right now, and... I mean, he's about at the same level as the rest of them. He throws down a second level on Acid Spray, just manning up against Alicia, and... That is one plus side to this, but even still... He did not get a CS from all of that. Yeah, this is a problem. I, I feel like maybe even just running to pick up the bounty runes might be a play here, but he doesn't want to do that. Instead, they're going to leave it for the bounty hunter. Maybe next time picks it up, and yeah, like you said, he's going to need to catch up somewhere else. Uh, Alchemist. I think running around collecting bounty runes actually might be the might be a play here. Yeah. You know what the next level strat is? You stack this left side jungle for the alchemist, and okay. he prepares a TP for the next wave of bounties, right? And then he runs into the bottom lane one. Takes the bounty, TPs to the shrine, and then takes the second one, and then hits the jungle. Ooh. There you go. Uh, unfortunately... Oh, there is actually going to be another stack here. So there's a pull going on right now, but maybe next time, over here on the hard camp. It's already stacked up once, and they'll be able to get it again. Are there any stacks going on in the rest of the jungle? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> look at these smileys. The hell. <laughs> All right. Well, pause, please, Nisha. He's not happy about the situation. But you know what? It's all okay. You are losing. You are losing your touch. 
Sorry for not meeting your expectations. Wonderful. Um, did they get the stack, by the way? Oh, wait, it's still paused. <laughs> we don't know if they did or not. All right, Spartan think, coming back in. It. Yeah, I think he's got it. Fifty-five seconds. They're about to run out. This is this is this camp is actually like the most annoying camp to stack. If you if you don't cut yeah. this tree, it's it's so frustrating to stack. All right, let's watch the biggest action of the game so far. Run away, little creeps. Do they make it? No. All oh, that wild wing ripper is being a butthead. I, I told you this. This is this is not the camp you want to stack. Unfortunately, it's oh. probably one of the best ones to stack from Radara because it's because of the uh, location of it. But All right. I mean, so far, uh, Madara is suffering, but Skylark, I mean, he's doing a great job here in terms of just bullying Exotic Deer. I, I did not expect this lane to go so well for him. Yeah, 23 CS, 6 denies, level 4 already. Exotic Deer maybe is not uh, up to date with the way to play Broodmother in this matchup. I don't know. That's one thing is, like, sometimes you see it as being a really good Brood game, but I'll have to check and see how much games he has on it. Kcore? drawn as Spartan dies and maybe next time not able to clean up the Night Stalker. You're right about this Broodmother though. It's very surprising to see him so under farm. He's only got 900 net worth. Skylark already doubling up his, his net worth so I mean this one's very tough. He did get some help from maybe next time at the beginning. I don't know how much that actually influenced the lane. I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that Skylark had a very well placed uh Sentry in the trees to begin with allowed him to see exotic deer at all times and play up in his face. So it looks like exotic deer had 11 uh, matches on Broodmother uh, on officials, but then on his like pub account, he has 166 matches. Spartan's going to get caught mid and he is going to get ran down. Should be an easy kill. Minus two there. And Alicia will be able to heal back up. So it's one of his most played heroes when he's playing in pub games. Often when he's playing in officials. I see. Mm. I mean, what better time to practice, right? <laughs> Official <laughs> matches. Yeah, there you go. Well, maybe next time in Skylark, hanging out together. Exotic there, level 5, is Kcore just takes down Madara. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, well, they dove further. I didn't think that... Madara was going to step up to that. Yeah, that, that really feels like it's the story of this matchup so far, is how much Madara is being shut down. I feel like that, that Puck ban really hurt them. Especially since Thug is actually kind of known for his Puck, right? That's like the hero that gave him a lot of success in the, yeah. uh, the Boston run. Meanwhile, they find another kill. Bounty Hunter caught out. He said that this could look kind of ugly, and it's starting to feel like it's turning that direction as the nighttime has fallen, and Kcore already level 3 is just roaming around and making stuff happen. This could be quite bad. Well, trying to stack up the camp right now. They will be able to get a stack as Patos picks up a bounty rune. And honestly, I think if I'm Madara right now, you need to go back to the jungle and try and clear it out, but as he's walking over here, he's going to run into the Night Stalker, and they're going to just be able to maybe even take the stack themselves. Looks like oh, the life seal is going to come in. Though. This could end up working. They found themselves Pathos. And, well, with the Chili Fingers, they're going to be able to find that kill. That's a big one. They brought 4 for it. And Madara, after using Acid Spray, it's not really capable to take this fight. Now the rest of them are showing up, though. Madara are going to run away. They pop the shrine, healing back up. Still cold feet procs onto Madara, and they're just like, they're keeping everybody so close at hand now. The classic eight heroes mid at six minutes. Yeah. I mean, this is, I mean, you can see Kingwin's game plan. They don't want this alchemist to have a good game at all. And it's looking kind of scary for mouse sports because of this. You know, you never want to be behind a net worth, especially with a, a Night Stalker. Oh, they're going to find Kakor. He's pretty quick still, though. They slow him down a little bit. If Madara can find this kill, this is really huge for him, but just outside of range, they're not going to be able to get him. He's too fast. Maybe next time, can they get the kill? Looking for it. Oh, he didn't have the attack speed. Get in there. Nisha's still chasing here, and they want to get this kill so badly, but it's not going <laughs> to happen. They're just taking everything from him. Windranger going to even take that last big creep. 
Madara, nowhere left to go. It's just, it's such a, a painful game for Alchemist. He just did a full lap around the Radiant base and made it out. That, that was some space made right there. Oh, man. One to four. The sort of lone, really, hero in this game right now for Mouse is Skylark. And, I mean, even oh. that's not great. You can see they even just take away this bird every now and then. I guess Lifesteal is having an okay time, too. Yeah, Lifestealer is doing okay as well. But, I mean, the way this game is going right now is some way, or somehow some way, Mouse Wars need to be able to make space for Madara to catch up. Like there's, mm -hmm. there's no way around it. If they can't get their, if they can't get farm on their alchemists, then this game is going to be extremely difficult for them. Unless for some unknown reason, the Beastmaster and Life Stealer just snowball out of control. Then, then it's not as big of a deal. But, I mean, the way this game is going right now, they they have to be able to make some space for this this alchemist. Maybe next time there, they spot out that he's in the area. In the meantime, Nisha was able to take the mid tower. So. Well, we're talking about all these other great things that are going on. They scan, realize that they're in the area, and now maybe next time, going to get blown the hell up. Spiders taking over this jungle. Well, they can keep on bullying Madara at the Tier 2 tower. My god. They're just giving him nothing. But he's still 4th highest in net worth because he's an alchemist. But, I mean, that's, that's not where you want to be. You want to be number one. Oh. I got Spartan again. Alicia. Six in stolen so far. And Mouse really struggling to get anything going at this point in the game. He's going to have to head back to the jungle again. And Beastmaster, you know, like you said, he can hold on to this tower of his own and even put some pressure onto their tower. But Broodmother is farming. It's a pretty, it's a pretty big deal that he's almost finished his Necro Book 1. Like, yeah. Necrobook 1 is actually quite a bit of damage. It gives you the ability to solo pick off uh, a lot of the heroes on the King Wind side. Uh-oh, Spartan? Not gonna get... Man, look how much damage he took from just a power <laughs> shot. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have boots right now. This is this is Poverty City. He's got 250 net worth. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a math expert, but that's not a lot of GPM. I mean, it's pretty much like... It's 100 GPM. He almost has double-digit GPM. So does the freaking Bounty Hunter right now. Oh, Lord. All right, I want to see if it ever if it gets down to 99. I don't even think it's... Is it even possible? I feel like the uh, just by staying in your base and waiting for gold to come in, it, it, <laughs> you'll still have higher than that. I mean, it's pretty rough. Uh-oh. Maybe next time in a lot of trouble. They are going to find him. Life Stealer is hidden yeah. in this creep right now. But I think that's going to be the end of it. I think he's going to get away. I don't think Nisha can do too much. He does have Arcane Rune, though, actually. So the potential for Life Stealer to die here is it's very like, possible. Uh, Nisha goes for the wind run. Does have a shackle, but not going to end up using it right there, it looks like. Oh, Good power shot him. Fire. Yeah. It's going to keep punching Thug. Well, top lane, HN Apparition gets himself a level 4. k is still staying over here. They do have vision of him with this Hawk, so Skylark going to walk in. I think they might go for a roar here in a second, looking for the axe throws. Oh, they don't no. get him. Instead, so it's just going to be the tower taken. They do get the tower, though. Then the fortification comes after the tower falls. Well, maybe next time? He's taking so much damage. Yeah. Makes his, makes his way out of the uh, Sentry Ward going to be fine. Oh, you said that they needed to make space for the Alchemist, and he's now got his his armlet done. He's building towards a Radiance top net worth in the game. Things are looking a little bit better for Madara now. Global down bottom. Global. They opened up. They're still able to find this Wind Ranger though, and I think that she's going down. That is going to be a kill, and maybe even going to be able to find K-Core as well to follow. Roars back up in just a second as the silence wears off, and... Good jump away there by the Night Sock. We're able to save himself. Looks like Mouse are able to make it happen off the back of this Beastmaster as well as the Life Stealer. They are farmed enough that they can actually make space for this Alchemist. And like you said, he's uh, made his way to the top net worth because he's Alchemist. Yeah. They do find Thug though. I think Thug is probably going to go down here. Isn't able to armlet toggle that, unfortunately. 
And a ton of TP's coming down here. I think it's already too late, though. The tower's gonna go down. No blink oh. dagger yet on the bat rider as well. Well, Patos, Spartan, they're gonna run into him. They don't have a TP right now on the Skylark, and so they're gonna need people to TP down here to help and rotate, but I don't think that that's even possible. Skylark trying to make the long jump away. They spot him out, though, and Nisha... I'm well, just gonna take himself a quick and easy kill here. Maybe not uh, so quick, but I don't very know about easy. The quick part. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. Skylark even kind of helped out uh, Bat Rider, I think. Adara? He wants to get those spiders, but. Well, he's just going to have to sort of stay back after throwing out the acid spray. Bottom tower is under attack. You, need, you need that radiance if you want to kill yeah. off the spider links. Can't rely on acid spray. Acid spray Ooh. is probably only going to get two or three ticks at most. Oh, big engagement here. Ah, Night Soccer finds a kill. And maybe next time with level 6, could throw out a track onto Alicia, see if they can run him down maybe. There's also the Beastmaster who's going for the cutoff right now, and Skylark gonna not quite see him. Again, that nighttime making all the difference in the world for the Hawk's vision. And Alicia able to play around him. He sees everything that's going on with the Radiance right now. Maybe next time. He's just able to dodge away. Really good movement there. Where is Broodmother's items? Oh, he's went he went straight Desolator. Okay. Well, Broodmother has a, a Desolator now. Okay. That's pretty cool. So I he's gonna... I think this is... I think my, I've seen Matama Man do this build. Yeah. Uh-oh. Madara. His ulti's about to wear off here shortly, but they haven't been able to bring him down as of yet. Armut Toggle could come out, but I think that he's gone regardless. They find that kill. It's the first one in a while and much needed. Yeah, good luck, uh, armlet toggling that. <laughs> yeah. Focus fire and firefly. I don't think this. I don't even I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible. <laughs> maybe next time has the life stealer inside of him. This is maybe the strat that they need. Meanwhile, ice cube man, Spartan. Yeah, this is. That ain't that ain't good. Oh, it's a really sad life for him. This will we'll be see. a big kill if they can kill off exotic deer here. All right, looking for it. Track is out. Exotic Deer in trouble and going to fall. Oh, he actually, he actually unfortunately made a mistake there. He thought he, I think he thought he had insatiable hunger, but oh. it, got, it got canceled by the uh, the Shuriken toss. Oh, okay. So, so he's we... like just standing there right clicking, like, expecting to have it. Because I think if he turned it on, um, there's a potential that he's able to just right click his way to survive and then just walk away. Oh, someone in chat is actually correcting us on how to pronounce some of these names. I was actually uh, supposed to look this up, and I forgot. Uh-oh. I said k -Core and Alicia. <laughs> well, I guess I haven't. I don't know. They're crazy. I don't listen to chat. They're out of their damn mind. But Nisha! Look at this guy. He's setting up. Thug, he's caught in trouble. Void, where's the silence? There it is. Cripple and fear down. And Arma Toggle all is almost enough. That's a good try. And in the meantime, Skylark oh, now Skylark. also going to be found. They push him back. They've got the Flasso. All right, from bad to worse. Mouse Sports getting caught. That was a nice little bit of gold there right there. Maybe it doubled the Ancient Apparition's net worth. Plus two feels good. 16 in for the silencer. All right, with the death so done, Exotic Deer and Insatiable Hunger are going to start to take down Roshan. And Spartan just going to immediately try and TP away. It's broken. God, he has had a rough game so far. 0-6. Oh, but thoughts real quickly on... Uh, on where the alchemist sits and and how you see this next couple minutes going like with the radiance done in just a little while do you think that oh. that puts them in a position to uh oh that shackle skylark. yeah skylark going down again another plus two for the silencer and i think that kind of answers your question there you know they this is not how you want to be or this is not the position you want to be when you have an alchemist draft you're yeah. behind by i mean it's Less than a thousand k, a thousand net worth, but I mean, if you're 
even net worth with the enemy team as an alchemist, you are behind. For yeah. sure. That's true. And we've seen alchemists be able to catch back up, but it's certainly not guaranteed by any stretch of the imagination. And, well, Spartan, I mean, he has been shackled so many times. And every time he comes back to life, he's just instantly dead again. This is and the saddest life. Yeah, it is not fun to be playing uh, Ancient Apparition when you're behind like this. All right, Madara has his Radiance. Maybe a bunch of spider kills could be in the works here. We'll have to wait and see. They do spot out Exotic Deer. There's a movement forward. Global comes out, though. Radiance burn. It could start to come out, but the stun, it's going to end up hitting Madara. They got him caught here now. They've got eyes on it. A lot of spiders are going down. That's a ton of gold, but Ancient Apparition Blast as well. Is it going to be enough? If they could kill Nisha right now, this would be tremendous. And, well, also tracks oh, no, going Spartan. out. The stun, it's coming in. They're trying to bring him down. That's another kill. But like you said, Spartan going down. I think that you trade that every day of the week, though. You will lose Spartan for a kill in any of these heroes. Definitely. But on the bright side for uh, Kingwin, they don't have to lose their, their Aegis. They can just heal themselves up, go again. Ooh, double damage. Oh, he doesn't bottle it. Hmm. All right, I mean, uh, better go he, now. <laughs> he might have accidentally, uh, like, not had it in his bottle or something. I don't know. Because the bottle is in his backpack, but yeah. Well, maybe next time Thug can go with the Infest Bomb again. Looks like they're going to go Brood Hunting. All right, next this th time. Exotic Deer actually doesn't have any webs. It's, it'll be up by the time they get here. But, I mean, they'll have dust, though, so she's... Uh, Exotic Deer isn't going to be able to, like, hide from this. See, but this is the thing. All right, time to see if he uses Insatiable Hunger this time. All right, he oh, got it off. He does. See, all right, here we go. Is he going to make it? Oh, maybe, actually. He's got I enough life you. seal. Oh, man. That right, alchemist that shows up at the end, and that's going to be enough to find the kill. And now we find another one. Patos goes down. All right, two track kills. Alchemist getting one of them. Cake Ward does find Spartan again, but <laughs> that's that's pretty freaking good. That is that is really good. I mean, that that was the, uh, the Radiance debut. Boy, actually, no, he already had it. But, I mean... Really unfortunate for Kingwin. I think they kind of underestimated uh, just how strong mouse sports can be, potentially. I mean, they're only ahead by a thousand gold. It's not like this alchemist is weak by any means, so. Yeah. I got a little too excited by the insatiable hunger. He was living through it, but once the alchemist shows up, I mean, it's over for him. Yeah, and I mean, that's the thing, is that it? it is, it would have been fine if it was just the life stealer and the bounty hunter but as soon as that elk shows up things go south very quickly and well we've seen kingwin throw away leads and advantages before this is nothing new 20 to 7 but it's only a thousand gold lead and starting to swing up in terms of experience as well you give this lineup an inch and they're going to take a mile well it's definitely a huge win for mouse sports being able to find those two pickoffs but the thing is, you know, you have to remember, you are still behind in net worth with your, with an alchemist. Yep. They find Spartan again. They want something more than this. They're gonna find Maybe next time. They're going to get one. That's a big one. He did manage to get that armlet off. Does he manage to get out, though? It looks like it is unlikely, and he is going to die. They also took down the bounty hunter. Somehow Spartan lives there. They don't even care. It's not worth the right clicks. <laughs> oh, wait. It's not over yet. All right. Uh -huh. It's over. He's running away from them. Madara is on the low ground. That is a little bit concerning, but he will be fine. And does have the Manta style now as well. So this will allow him to at least farm maybe a little bit more easily. The Shackle is there. Stun ready to come out. Madara hits it. They don't have Global right now either. Manta style, not enough mana for it right now. But Madara with the Radiance Burn still taking Spiders down. While meanwhile, bottom lane get taken by the Creeps. So I enlarge. They're holding on to this tower, at least for the moment. Track out now. Gonna be able to hit there with the shuriken. 
And Mouse hold on to their tower and maybe going to be able to find more. Now Nisha is able to get Spartan again, but Thug is there out. on top of them. They got him. The Aegis is down. That's such a huge kill right there. Now Alicia dominating Spree, but he's going to end up dying also. They're looking for more. Exotic Deer Gain ran down. They find that kill also. Madar, the Radiance Burn, slowly disabling them all. They've already used the Roar to find those three kills. And Mouse Sports come back in a strong way. The greedy lineup is paying off. Uh-oh. They're, they're making it work. The greed, like you said, the greed is actually paying off. That was, that was just so unfortunate for Kingwin, though. A bit of a slip up there, not taking into account that their Aegis was going to run out at that moment, and Windrunner going down in these team fights. It's not how you want to take them. Oh. And given Vision right here as well, they take two towers. The bottom tier two tower ended up dying as well. Look at that graph. My god. The past couple minutes, since the Radiance got purchased, it's just been all uphill. And now, Alchemist with 6,000 lead over the next highest in the game. Alright. What do you do now if you're Kingwin? What, what's the play? Oh, man. Might have to go... This, this actually might be that moment in the game where they might have to hide and wait till you have the items necessary to take these fights. So what happens if they fight into them again right now, then? I mean, I think they can still fight into them. It's just they have to be so careful. I think they kind of got a little sloppy uh, with their lead. Oh, maybe next time, though. Are you going to find Nisha? I don't know. I don't think you go on this. You're going to just win run away. Uh, they're setting up with the Ice Blast, and they're going to try and force it out. But the rest of these heroes are showing up. Global comes out. Well, one team might have thrown away a little bit of an advantage, and now we might see a second, as they're at least going to lose maybe next time. And looks like the Brood wants to take down Spartan. One, two, oh! <laughs> that was mighty close. Roar? Okay. Uh, Batrider and their thug, but there's going to be the jump in. Madar shows oh, up angry as hell. There's going to be the stun. They made this style to take off the silence, and now chasing down Kekor. I don't know if he's going to end up dying, though. In the meantime, Nisha trying to chase, trying to find that kill. This fight is becoming incredibly chaotic, but it looks like Thug pops that ulti, turns to fight, isn't going to be able to do it, though. A great last word there, but now the jump in comes, and at A Blast, is it going to be enough to burn through him? I think because it's just level 1, Nisha's going to live. Yeah, he's going to live through that. So is everybody else. It might have been enough, but Mouse Sports, they end up throwing away a little bit of a lead themselves. Yep, it is. I mean, this definitely shows you, right? They're, most of their losses on Kingwin's side is just because of a uh, bit of, you know, unprepared. They're very unprepared for, with those, for those last few engagements. It's being a little sloppy. And yeah. This time around, they're the ones who are a bit more ready. Mouse Sports kind of jumping the gun there uh, with a bounty hunter with the Lifestealer infested. And to go on the on the Windrunner was very surprising. Yeah. Because there's no silence. There's no disable either. There's there's nothing to stop him from just wind running and walking away from you, so it was kind of surprising to see that. Yeah. I'd agree. Oh. Able to dodge away from that shackle shot used. Nice play right there by the Beastmaster to get out. Uh talent wise, he's getting close to that one boar summon if that's what he wants to go for. Anything else that's really coming up soon that's a, a big concern? Like, Alchemist is getting close to that Octarine core. As far as Aghanim's upgrades this game, probably Ancient Apparitions is the best one. Is there anybody... Beastmasters is okay. It's not as good as AAs. I don't think it's as good as Bounty Hunters either. I think Bounty Hunter is actually not bad. Okay. Probably after Alchemist gets, like, a Shiva's Guard or something, though, right? Um, yeah, most likely. This is uh, the, the standard six slot build for quite some time. And as they push up top lane, Skylark, and maybe next time, are going to be pushing bottom with Thug inside and Alicia. This is an easy kill. Yeah. Easy roar, easy kill, easy life. And some damage onto some that damage. tier three tower. Not insignificant. Nice. So, so much damage. it's actually going to go down. They get the kill on the tier 3 tower. 
Very nicely done. Gonna get a little bit of extra damage on that ranged racks too. All that Whoa. Value. Look at this. They're, they're TPing in on the Roche. Uh, do Kingwin have any idea that this is happening? I don't think so. I think they All right, do. Now they do. Even now they, they do. do. It's just so difficult for you to really do anything. Uh oh, they see the Hawk. All right. They're thinking about going right now. Got to be super careful. Skylark, he throws it out. A Blast is also going to connect. Patos, he's passing by, but there's going to be the jump in. And, well, the lasso is going to be on a Skylark. I don't know if that's going to be nearly enough. As they're just going to back out again. And Aegis is now there for Alchemist. He's got Octarine Core. 1,200 gold on top of that. And they're ready to go. Yeah, trading off uh, Skylark there for... To, just to ensure that the Roshan goes smoothly, I think it's definitely worth it. It's not like he had anything to contribute in that team fight, anyways, since he used everything at bottom lane. And Kingwin again, feeling like it's this team that I don't know. It's it's like right on the precipice, but Mouse Sports showing that sort of veteran understanding and knowledge of where they needed to go and what they needed to accomplish to win this game, and they're letting Madara carry him. Oh, I'm so happy for Spartan. He hit level 10, so he has the 60 GPM. Oh, what he he wants a better life for himself. Still sub 200 GPM, but maybe one day he'll be gifted an Agonims. He's off the streets and into a box. <laughs> He's so self-sacrificing. He spent all the money he had on buying a gem for his Beastmaster. So once again, oh, doesn't God. have anything in his inventory. Well, uh, whatever. He's an ancient apparition. That's how it's got to be. All right. Aghanim Scepter, BKB up right now for Nisha. They find Spartan again. It almost doesn't even seem worth it at this point. Now the global comes out. There's going to be a roar as well used if they want to take it. Do they decide to go for it? Instead, they're just going to hold on to it for the moment. Take down Exotic Deer. Roar still being held on to. And, oh, they're not able to kill him off. That's going to end up being already ancient apparition and the bounty hunter oh, dead. But Nisha everybody too. else is going to end up falling. It's literally everybody else on Kingwin dead. For the supports. Maybe Nisha gets out. Does he actually escape from that? All right. Yeah, he, he pops BKB and just runs away too quickly. They can't actually catch him. All right. Well, there they go. Bouting away. And Mouse, ready to siege high ground. How did they hold here? Start spamming away that power shot. Whoa, that's a lot of pings coming out. Ooh, Good shackle. Nice shackle. Life seal are going to go down. Nisha making that kill happen. Right, Can they find any more? Ice Blast going to connect. Nisha actually taking a lot of damage from that. And with the Radiance Burn as well, he's going to be forced to run away from that. Acid Spray almost enough to push him. But they would have needed about 300 more damage to roll him below the threshold. So they hold high ground at the very least. But now a 6,000 net worth lead and continuing to grow. The Life Sealer kill was good. That was very careless by Mouse Forge, though. Not, not respecting a Shackle Shot is something that you definitely shouldn't be doing. Uh, especially like, you know, they managed to secure themselves a bit of a lead again, but you're not exactly far enough ahead to be doing these kind of plays. You have to remember that this Windrunner does pack a punch. So if you're gonna seize the high ground, you know, do so in a way so that you can't actually get picked off by this Shackle Shot. And he's got that level 20 talent as well. So that Windrun gonna be a very nice setup for him. He's basically Weaver now. <laughs> Basically, Weaver. Yeah, I like that uh, thought. It's true. Extra movement speed, visibility. And they do probably. They're going to be able to maintain some of a vision advantage just by virtue of the Night Stalker. But at the same time, they've got like boars and, you know, hawks and then bounty hunter. It's kind of. I don't know. Haphazard who has the vision advantage. All right, they're grouping up down here. They are still feeling like they are unkillable, which I, I think Madara is actually feeling invincible at this point. He does have the Shiva's guard now as well as the Aegis. Yeah. Gonna drop his boots. Doesn't really need them. Ready to go high ground now. He's halfway to an Aghanim Scepter, the first one. And the Ice Blast scouts out. Batrider was not in position to pull them out of position. That rider instead now is going to head his way over to that direction and maybe go for a jump onto Madara. It's so hard 
to find this kill. And, well, considering that they've still got that Aegis, it's maybe a little bit too much to ask. 30 seconds until it expires. But right now is when they have to take the fight. The Global comes out. They do have that Beastmaster. Going to blow him up. But that Night Stalker is dead as well. And now Exotic Deer trying to turn. They want to save Madara for last for when that Aegis expires. But he is too much of a handful right now. The gem is down on the ground. They buy back on the Night Stalker trying to chase this out. And, well, it's just going to be the Windrunner dead as well. The gem still on the ground. Roche Aegis going to expire in five. Can they hold out until then? Nisha looking for an opening right now. Spartan's going to end up getting shackled. Going to end up being brought down. And now the Aegis expires. Can they catch up to him? Can they kill him off? Now they turn. They turn fight. Around. They don't even care. He, like, uh, it's just too much. Far oh, too much. Have to be careful, though. Maybe Nisha. He has another power shot and a shackle shot. Well, there he goes. Manta styles it off, and there's the stun. Maybe going to bring him down. Still looking for that opening. They turn instead onto the Life Stealer. What? They still can't kill him off. He's just going to end up dying. Nisha running away with the Shiva's guard almost going to connect. He's barely left alive, but still, Madara lives. I, I'm i actually shocked that that, uh, that Shackle shot didn't latch. Yeah. This is looking rough for King Gwen. Looks like Mouse has made this greedy lineup work out. Yeah, like 18,000. Uh, it's it's all over now. There's no way to, just to even defend against it. Like, maybe if you can find a shackle here on a Madara, but even that, it's just so hard to take this fight. And, oh, they couldn't even get the lasso on him. Uh, stun, the concoction flies, and Pato's going to die. Nisha looking for an opening. It's not going to happen. The shackles that were falling just earlier in the game is no longer there. And Mouse looking to potentially finish this game off and secure themselves a shot in the playoffs for the qualifiers. Just two towers and an ancient away. The shackle is there. They want to pull him back in. AA Blast is coming out, though. The extent to which they've already expended their entire... Assortment of abilities, though, means that there's nothing left in the tank to take him down. Madara chasing inside the fountain. He doesn't give a damn. The regen more than enough to keep him alive. As Kingwin are going to lose game number three. I'm so happy for Spartan. He's going to win this. 0, 12, and 9. <laughs> yeah, the support player in you loves to hear it. As Thug going to just rage and... Well, Kingwin will stay in this one, but at this stage of the game, it is all but over. The Ice Blast is going to go through. They catch on to Patos. Madara's still chasing. They're looking to finish off Nisha here as well. He's got that wind run invisibility, but the Necro Books level 3 are there. The Shuriken Toss is bouncing. Madara's still diving inside a base. They got all the damage in the world, and nothing is left as GG is called, and Mouse going to move on. Oh, don't look at that smiley. This is, oh, this is it. That, 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 you, the smiles. You you see it right here. Now and now you know what it means. The